This idea of travelling around New Zealand in a bus came to us when we were listening to some accounts and stories of other families living and dealing with Prado Willie syndrome, wasn't it? And the challenges that they had and how some of them were <clears throat> not coping as well as others. And um, so we thought, well, if we could maybe get out there and share our experiences uh, living with Isla, who of course has Prado Willie syndrome, and, uh, and video our, and blog it as we go around to uh, link up with other families, share stories with other families, ideas, and um, and maybe just to sort of let them know that we're rolling this together. Prada Willie's a chromosome disorder, so for Isla she's got a partial deletion of her 15th chromosome, which causes um, mental and physical delayed development. One of the biggest dangers of Prada Willie syndrome is the, the eating disorder. So they eat, they don't have the off button, so they're constantly craving food. And therein the problem lies because someone's very hungry, you know, they want to eat and you're denying them food, it causes stress and... So they're hard and, and hide and lie and steal. And, and as they get older they become very clever on how they can get the food and hide it. So as you can see, we've put a, a high door there into the kitchen. So that's, that's normal practice for any home living with Prada Willie syndrome. You have to lock your cupboards away. No, ketchup is nice for us, Dad. Mm. Any family, you put a family in a bus and live together in a small bus, which this is a small bus. As you can see, very small moving space. You know, it's this hard bed and, and you're all kind of on top of each other and on wet and rainy days can <laughs> become, very you know. Very hot, <laughs> but some days the bus feels way smaller than it is. <laughs> I like to live in that bus, the fire is warm. So certainly here in New Zealand we're having to fight to have a normal school life, not just for us but with other accounts that we've heard within the Prada Willy community in New Zealand. Everybody's trying to fight and not getting the full support because I think it's very, it's not understood that the complexities and the dangers of Prada Willy syndrome maybe has not been fully researched by the Ministry of Education. What do you want to do with Lola? She wants to play and help, well not play, but she wants to put her hands and fill the pastry. Yeah. You can help. Wait, Lola's not going to let me. So as you can see now, Isla's very stressed because she's been left out of something Lola's doing. Um, so we are now currently in the process of fighting for uh, our our child Isla to have a normal five day week at school, which is a bit of a shame really. Isn't it? Well, the Ministry of Education is always saying, well, we need everyone to have a fair chance of everything. And that's what they're projecting out to make them seem like that's what they want and they care, but right now it's not showing. We We've been offered just approximately two days of education a week for Isla, and which is, in our opinion, is unacceptable, not in a, a modern world and a modern country.